welcome i cozy charlotte here how's everybody doing on this monday night yes i believe it is monday night it is after 7 p.m i am here just i just been not chilling all day because i had to make some runs this morning running around and then but then i came home and kind of chilled rest of the day you know of course i have my day off on mondays and i'm trying to use my mondays as to relax but it's not gonna always be the case um but i do try to get some of that time in and i just want to get on here just to show you a few things that i got from the um, Dollar Tree today um, and the Dollar Tree the other day you know I'm kind of mixing them together it's not much it's just a few new things that I saw that I picked up and um, a, a couple of special special purchases that I got that I can't wait to show you guys that I always get from the Dollar Tree. I bet you guys know what I'm talking about. So I hope everyone is doing well, um, enjoying this weather. It's a little different, you know, because it seems to be hurricane season, tornado and all that. And we're getting some different type of weather right now. Um, but um, I like the fact that it's not as hot as it was and now we're getting some thunderstorm and lightning and some rain at this moment and it's supposed to bring in the cool air so we spoke the next I think two or three days maybe we spoke in the 70s and that is like the perfect weather mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love 70s weather I can live in 70s weather year-round so but with this cooling off, um, I'm going to try to get some things done that I've been wanting to do. It's just when it's so hot outside, I want to get outside to do stuff. But I have to learn to do these things outside when it's a little cooler before it starts getting hot. Hot in the summertime. Do it in the springtime when it starts getting warm. Get it done. And then you don't have to worry too much about it too much in the hot stuff. Then you can enjoy you know, the fruits of your labor, of the outside, what you've done, you know, during the summertime. But unfortunately, I procrastinated because I should have known I just get busy. I get busy throughout the summer, not only with my job, but with the church. I travel a lot. And I have yet to wash off my porch and, and, and um, restain it and um, fix it up you know I have things I want to put on it and then enjoy the rest of my summer on there I just go out and just enjoy my evenings but I haven't done it yet and um, I just kick myself in the butt because when it gets so hot later on I don't want to be outside in that hot hot weather trying to do that so but now you know it's getting close to September um, our weather start changing a little bit um, you know, we're still going to have them hot days, but then we're going to have days that come in. It's going to be nice and cool like now. So, unfortunately, I'm going to try <laughs> to get out there now to clean off my porch and restain it so I can try to enjoy the rest of the uh, summer, you know, before, you know, the winter really actually comes in. Um, so... <sighs> Lord help me. <laughs> That's all I can say. Lord help me. Give me the strength. Give me the drive. You know, because when you're so busy, you're doing this and that, this and that, you know, sometimes you just don't have the drive in you because you're just ready to relax. You're just ready to rest. And I hate that, you know, so I have to learn to do things when I know I should be doing it so I can enjoy them later um, so I pray that the Lord help me give me the drive so I can try to clean up my garage in the next couple of days I'm trying to um, clean off my porch and restain it we'll see you know because like I said I wanted to kind of videotape me cleaning off the porch and stuff for you guys so I'm hoping I get that energy and that drive to do it. So 
But anyway, I, it's five minutes, and I just want to show you my little bit of things I got from the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Quarter Tree. Um, I hate that. I hate it. I wish they would just change the name now because, mm, you know, those quarters add up, guys. They add up. But, of course, I had to get some alcohol. Um, I had to get some alcohol. And oh, they have this 70% swan alcohol in the Dollar Tree. Even though it's only 16 ounce, I hate pay a dollar quarter for it. But as you know, everything even have gone up in the other stores with alcohol and stuff. But um, sometimes I can find it in other stores that I normally don't go in for a little less. But I'm out of alcohol and I needed it. And this is the witch hazel I always get, guys. And um. I, I like this witch hazel, you know, I use it for my skin, and um, as you see, dollar quarter, mm -hmm, yeah, from the Dollar Tree, yeah, um, and it's by Lucky Superstore Witch Hazel Solution, and um, I like this stuff, and it's only eight ounce, I hate that, I have to pay a dollar quarter, now, I seen in the Dollar General, it's, uh, it's, um, it's like, a dollar only a dollar but I think it's four ounce something like that so you just best off buying eight ounce um, but I'm gonna check that out again because actually I th yeah I better check that it's the same type of solution but I better check that out because it might have been eight ounce for a dollar <laughs> love to save me some change Ch -ch change and i seen this for the first time um you guys know how i love my baths and i always looking for a good bubble bath and um eve st Clair always have a nice uh, bubble bath um product um and this one is called moroccan Moroccan Rose Scented Moisturizing Bubble Bath. Leave skin softer and smoother. That's what it says. So, I say yes. I definitely picked up that. That's my first time seeing it. And uh, I think it's going to smell good. And I think it's going to work out. I do like their products, Eve St. Clair. And down to... Okay. And I'm always looking for a nice soap, but it has to be like a vegan type of soap, you know, no parabens and all that kind of stuff in it. And um, I seen I seen this product before in the, in the Dollar Tree by Sugar, and it's spelled S H U G A R. Sugar Soap Works, and this says peppermint plus cypress plus cinnamon, focus and clarity, plant derived scented soap. Allergen tested and gluten free, vegan for ultimate skin hydration. This is my first time seeing this product in there from Sugar. And they got some other ones in there, but I decided to try this one. So I have to let you guys know how that works out. Um, um, yeah. I have to let you know how it works out. It smells good, but I don't worry about too much of the smell. I like it for the smell good, but I I pay attention to what's in it. So, uh, and my last two purchases that really why I wanted to get on here and show you guys what I got from the Dollar Tree. Y'all know one of my favorite alls to go in. <laughs> what well, I was at, y'all know. Come on, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes. The book out, yeah, yeah. So I found two nice books, and this is called Good Company by Cynthia Theopri Sweeney, and um. A novel by the New York Times best-selling author of The Nest. She's, so I'm just going to read you a little bit of the caption inside. Um, 
It's had warm and incisive new novel about the enduring bonds of marriage and friendship from Cynthia Delpre Sweeney, author of the instant New York Times bestseller, The Nest. Okay. Flora Mancini has been happily married for more than 20 years, but everything she thought she knew about herself, her marriage, and her relationship with her best friend, Margot, is upended when she stumbles upon an envelope containing her husband's wedding ring, the one he claimed he lost one summer when their daughter, Ruby, was five. Flora and Julian struggled for years, scraping together just enough acting work to raise Ruby in Manhattan and keeping Julian's small theater company, good company, afloat. A move to Los Angeles brought their first real career successes, a chance to breathe easier, and a reunion with Margot, now a bona fide television star. But has their new life been built on lies? What happened that summer all those years ago? And what happens now? With Cynthia Delpre, Sweeney's signature tenderness, humor, and insight, Good Company tells a big-hearted story of the lifelong relationships that both wound and heal us. So, this is the author, Cynthia Delia Sweeney. So, I, when I read the caption, every time I read the inside caption, if it tugs at me and catch my attention, I get it. So, I thought that'd be a nice, good book to lay back and read. The second and the last one I bought at the Dollar Tree. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Honey and Spice. Yeah. By Baloo Babalola. Baloo Babalola. Honey and Spice. Okay. Another internationally best selling author of Love in Color. Sweet like plantain, hot like pepper. They taste the best when together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, the front page caught mine. I was like, okay, I'm getting it already. So the caption on the inside says, Sharp-tongued and secretly soft-hearted, Kiki Banjo has just made a huge mistake. As an expert in relationship evasion and the host of the popular student radio show Brown Sugar, she's made it her mission to make sure the woman of the African Caribbean Caribbean society at Whitewell College in Southern England do not fall into the mess of situationships, players, and heartbreak. But when the queen of the unbothered kisses, Malachi, Malachi, Malachi Korede, Malachi Korede, the guy she just publicly denounced as the waste man of Whitewell in front of every black Wellian on campus, she finds her show on the brink. They're soon embroiled in a fake relationship to try and salvage their reputations and save their futures. Kiki has never surrendered her heart before, and a player like Malachi won't be the one to change that, no matter how charming he is or how electric their connection feels. But surprisingly entertaining study sessions and intimate late-night talks at old-fashioned diners force Kiki to look beyond her own presumptions. Is she ready to open herself up to something deeper? A glorious, funny, and sparkling debut novel, Honey and Spice is full of delicious tension and romantic intrigue that will make you weak at the knees. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Caught my attention. I think this will be a good read. Honey and Spice. Yeah. So, if you guys have a Dollar Tree near you, if you don't find one near you, and see if they have these two wonderful books. Mm -hmm. I'm stocking up, guys. I'm stocking up because I'm going to get ready to build my wall library. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to get ready, relax, and I'm going to just kind of relax and, and look at some some videos and, and just chill and go to bed early and listen, actually relax and listen to the rain outside and look at the outdoors and hear the thunder and the rain and all that good stuff. But I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is safe. It's so much going on out here. All these floods and hurricane. I just, I'm just praying for so many people and just praying for their safety, you know, and, and praying for their mind, their mental state, you know, because many people are losing everything they have. And they're losing homes and, you know, and some are even losing their lives or families is grieving. So, it's a praying time, guys. It's a praying time. So we got to lift God up through all this and just give him all the honor, all the glory, and just pray that he just keep us because it's a lot going on and it's going to keep happening because truly that's what's in his holy word because everything he says is going to happen, it's going to happen. And if you're living for him, you know to believe him and I just thank God for everything and I thank him for keeping me and um, I hope and pray for that you have a relationship with him and um, just know him to be true and trust in him never give up guys hold on to God trust in him with all your heart no matter no matter no matter no matter what happens because he's all we got it's all we got. We were made for his glory. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. But I love you guys. And Lord willing, like I said, never give up. Keep fighting. Love you guys. Lord willing, I will talk to you soon. Hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, love you.